Right, well, here is Deboraska Street, the main uh, kind of drag. And the supermarket is just that building right there. So it's super close. I know no one will believe me because it looks like I'm in some freezing ski town, but I swear to God, it's warmer here. It's so much warmer here than in Kiev. Like, it's kind of just nice walking around. I'm not even wearing that many layers. I'm not wearing any thermals or anything. So it's like a fresh air, if that makes sense. Look, people can even bicycle. We're going to the Europe. Uh, going to the grocery store. Nice. So we're gonna move the ground for these guys. And every single mall in Ukraine has a supermarket in the basement, which is really nice. Uh, the Lubini Farsh. Farsh? Yeah, Uh, Farsh, yeah. Uh, the Kulitsa Farsh. Oh, Kulini. Kulitsa. Um, I didn't have to, uh, Kulitsa. I had to, uh, Savini or, uh, Mu. Nieto. Okay. Schwein, da, ne? Ah, uh, mixed pig and uh, Savina. Savina eat because they don't have beef for some reason. So I'm gonna get mix of chicken and pork. Okay, let's show. Yeah, good. Uh, mm, it's a manoga. Yeah, good. Sweet, sweet manoga. Okay, hello, hello, hello. Okay, 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 I don't think we have these pods anywhere. Okay, good. Okay. So, even more reason just using my French press. I'll just buy that if mine runs out. Even more reason why. You guys go? Yeah. Okay. Guys, even more reason why I hate Nespresso. I hate fucking Airbnbs. Because it's hard to find these pods sometimes. This is the biggest supermarket in the area. And, you know, obviously they're always going to have normal coffee. But these pods, I can't find them. And I'm staying for a week and they give me five pods. And I'll, they'll probably last me two days, to be honest, because each of them are so weak. You, have, you always have to have two. I'm going to miss all these uh, dairy products. So. Let's talk about well, those. I got one for the butter. Oh, margarine? Nah, yeah, fool. That stuff is disgusting. Don't get that. Look at that masla, the real butter, guys. Wait, one of these. That's also margarine, don't get that. Look we'll at the 85% masla. And maybe I'll get a little clammy as well. I don't know which one's good. Guys, I can't believe how cheap that is. It's like a dollar for that. Six hundred nine hundred. Six hundred. Guys, I almost forgot the solo. Not possible to eat without swallow. <laughs> no, 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 no. <laughs> yeah, okay, that's. Tito, Tito, 
I'm really disappointed with the bread here. It's terrible. Even the fresh baked stuff doesn't look very good. Oh, I miss uh, Kiev already. Alright, guys, we got a little bag of uh, groceries. I feel like it's more expensive here than in Kiev as well. Or at least at the out of there, so. Whatever. Oh, I'll just go to KFC. Or uh, my favorite, the Maccas. Oh no, I think all the employees had to go outside because of the air alarm. Right now, I think it's over. My first air alarm I've heard in Odessa so far. And the power just went out a minute ago as well. In Kiev, I haven't really worried about it to be honest, because our air defense is so good, but Odessa gets hit hard. And it's so much closer to where Russia can shoot from as well. Oh my god. We'll see what happens. Welcome to my first day in Odessa, guys. This is how we work out in Odessa, guys. Still a little bit of snow left on the road, but most of it has melted. As you can see, the sun is out now in Odessa. I am really happy to be here. I feel like a vacation. I'm going to this Italian restaurant, Sabina, for lunch. And the sun is it's so nice, guys. I left my jacket upstairs even, and it feels okay. The sun. So different than two days ago. Two days ago, these streets were completely covered. Like, you couldn't walk anywhere without getting without falling basically I'm not really sure why but Odessa is really known for Italian restaurants and this is a beautiful one guys look at this place look at how nice this place is with the chandeliers there's a view here Really nice design. Yeah, I just got my pizza, guys. I didn't know the differences between a pizza and a pizza, but it turns out they let the, the dough rise for 48 hours. It reduces, reduces the gluten content. Looks good. Let's try my first pizza. I must use this for it. Somebody who's Italian told me the difference, but I feel like it's almost like a focaccia bread, like a really light bread with <coughs> pizza sauce and cheese on it. You guys, look at this beautiful pasta. I'm done with my pizza. And Sabina, <laughs> nice to see you again. This is uh, her secret of staying thin. Yes, this is really great. Eat dessert for her for her lunch. <laughs> Such a nice, beautiful restaurant. 
So it was great catching up with Sabina again. If you don't remember her, she's the founder of the Children's Center here in Odessa, where they are a free child care, and also they teach uh, the parents, so the, the mothers, uh, new job skills so they can get a new job. Uh, all these kids, uh, all these families are relocated from the war-torn areas, uh, Russian-occupied areas. Uh, I met a lot of these kids from you know, all over the Donbass, Donetsk, uh, as well as Zaporizhia, Kharkiv, and just places that have been affected by the war. And coming here, they can get together, play, be kids again. You know, and the best of all, it's a, it's first off, it's a free child care center, so the parents can actually work. And if the, the parents don't have job skills, they get free training as well. So it's a really nice organization. Thank you so much to those who donated. I know a few of you, after watching the video, uh, had sent money through their PayPal. She says that uh, with the money that's still left over from there, they're actually going to be able to buy a Christmas tree this year. Uh, and they're really excited because they didn't have one last year. So big thank you to everyone who did that. If you want to watch this video, it's going to be in the description box below but thank you so much to sabina for everything you're doing and keep up the great work yes every day they hear the racket attack uh, they said oh there is my dad there is that is soldiers and they say i want your dad i, I, I want my dad yes. i want to go to the father and we want to do uh, like uh, these children must forget uh, about the war it's so strange. I just got done with lunch here in this restaurant, and as I was paying the bill, I heard the air alarm go off kind of faintly in the background. And I walked outside, fully expecting to hear it. But instead, it winds down, and I hear this. Odessa gets hit pretty much weekly since the war started, and they get hit harder than, way harder than Kyiv, uh, a million times harder than Lviv. People here just don't give a fuck. <laughs> they're just so used to it by now, and they're just like, we're gonna live our life. We're not gonna let Russia deter us. The alarm is still happening right now, by the way, and literally nobody cares. another night I'm walking home and the air alarm's off what's going on there's nobody on the streets it's a bit of worse so. it's not even that late it's like 9 p.m. I think technically the air alarm's still happening but we all stopped here get a little sore my guys excited <laughs> Well, good morning. It's things like day three, four, maybe in Odessa. I've uh, made this place very cozy at home. I even made have a pot of borscht in here. Uh, the snow finally melted, and let me show you. Yeah, so the snow's finally gone. So it's kind of just like it feels like fall again, actually. But it's been yeah, it's been pretty cozy here, and I, I started using this TV as a monitor, so I'm editing here, and it's like super comfortable because it's this huge, huge monitor. Oh, well, I'm sitting here recording. Yeah, nice spot. And of course, while I'm trying to do some work and edit this video, uh, this is the Transformer Street Dog video where I was giving an update on the dogs going. And that's taking a long time because that's like a dogumentary being fucking uninterrupted by this Russian bullshit. Oh. This is the time to stretch. Oh. 
Oh, fuck you, Russia. Let me do my work. People just want to live their damn lives, man. Russia, please stop attacking Ukraine. I'm asking nicely. So it's been really nice staying uh, at this Airbnb. It's a really good location. Debaraska Street is just here. But I'm gonna walk to this park to go have lunch and meet up with Martin. This guy I know. I was really looking forward to the weather today because as you can see, it stopped snowing and all the ice is melted. And it's technically plus 11, which is actually decently warm, especially for winter. But it's super windy. So it actually feels even colder today than it did yesterday when it was zero degrees. Kids don't care though, they just love playing. I think one of my favorite things about living in Ukraine is seeing just like families out and about, like kids playing, you know, parents taking their kids on stroller walks. I don't know why, I didn't see it that much in San Francisco, I swear to God, in LA especially. Like it just wasn't, it wasn't as noticeable if it makes sense. People are always in cars. But here you just see them walking around everywhere. I think maybe it's one reason why we have a declining birth population in the US and we rely on immigration so much. It's people don't like, uh, they don't value having kids and a family that much anymore like they used to. You know, everybody wants to put it off until later, until they're 30, 35. And then it's too late, usually. Because by the time you are 35, you just have kids. You probably should have started a few years ago, so. Yeah, it's a. Uh, difficult. <laughs> I just realized it might be windy. I should have brought my wireless mic and the, the air, the wind buff thing. The dead cat. Don't scary dead cat. So for those who are wondering if Odessa has sex tunnels, of course they do guys. This uh, flowers 24 hours. Kavirti, that's a code name, guys. Odessa is like the capital of sex tunnels. Look at the door. Even though it looks like it's closed, it was open, guys. Here's another one. This, this, this one's my favorite. <laughs> oh, Nika's the best, actually. And this was for warriors who are like, like letting people watch. So here's that church that Russia bombed right in the city center. Unfortunately, it's still not real, completely fixed yet. But they probably won't fix the glass until after the war, so it doesn't happen again. All right, so this is my favorite Turkish lunch spot, Kebab Center. And I'm meeting Martin. Hello. Hello. Good morning. Good lunch. Actually, it's my place. It's also over here. This. It's Chinatown. No, it is Patelok. Oh, bro. Right. Uh, I don't like seafood, so. Yeah. Oh, so, uh, this? Yeah. It looks. It doesn't look. It doesn't look very nice, but the food is tasty. I already went to there and didn't notice this place at all. Yeah, it looks like nothing. Uh, but let's go. The best food is sometimes in like Oslo. Shit. You're not strong enough. <laughs> Hello. Go over the end. Yeah, it's open. Do we go? Who else? Adin Shashli, Tichanana. Yeah, we've got a cafe in Bosnia. Pitch. We prepare this meat in pitch. On the stove. Kefte, Nimaguro? Yes. Mojna? Yes, da. Okay, the white kefte. 
Do you want the steak thing? He said, didn't do it on the pan, I guess. All right. I guess I take the steak at Ultima. All right. We got the payday right here. And we have this, uh, what is this called again? But, uh, kofta. 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 How do you say, um, smash no hole in Finnish? I don't know if you understand from Estonian. Oh, Estonian, sorry. Estonian. Yeah, diesel. Yeah, the diesel. Okay. Tear to be sex. Better is it for the drinks. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> so we have these veal chops. Here's a La Pajon. I'm going to put this, uh, put this lemon on. What lemon? Mm -hmm. cool I think we really eat this every day. <laughs> Professional good eater. Mm. Good morning. Bye bye. Oh, that was a nice little lunch with Martin from Estonia. I don't know why I kept thinking he was from Finland and they mixed the two up. This is such a beautiful building from before uh, before USSR and this opens up again soon such a beautiful park guys well you there you have it it's been my uh, almost a week here in Odessa and I'm back in my apartment I really love this little editing setup I can't believe I never thought of this earlier all you have to do is travel with an HDMI cable, maybe like a Mac adapter, but it's been really good. So yeah, a little update. Uh, my tenant in my apartment in uh, Kiev is doing well. She likes the place. Uh, she's settling in. It's better than the overpriced hotel she was staying at earlier. Uh, and uh, in a few days, I'm gonna be taking off. So continue the journey, but I think there'll be one more video here from Odessa. I would really like to go to another sauna before I leave and officially end my time during winter. Uh, it feels a little bit like fall now, but still kind of wintery. Uh, An update from the dog shelter. My friend Ina, who you saw in the last video, she went today to go walk dogs and sent me a couple videos. So I'll post them here. Hello, I'm walking with dogs and here is Frosa. Rosa, Rosa. <laughs> and Marcia, Marvina. <laughs> she was eating snow. <laughs> but I'm a little bit jealous because it looks so beautiful there with the snow. So I wish I was there walking as well, though I don't miss the cold. So uh, here's a little update from the shelter. Thank you so much for everyone who watched and shared that documentary that took me forever to make. And I almost couldn't export it for whatever reason. So that's why that one's in only 720p, but it's out there. I hope you enjoy it. And thank you to everyone who's either volunteered or donated to that animal rescue uh, because they are the best. Take care, guys. Love from Odessa. Let's just hope there's no more air alarms this week. Or air alarms okay, I just don't want bombings.